Pick it up out of place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Stampers, it's Allison Salvin from Stamp Crazy. This was a card that I received from my friend Christine Brandt from Winnipeg, and when I opened it, I just couldn't believe how beautiful it was. It's even more beautiful in person. But what struck me was this way that uh, Christine had embossed just regular aluminum foil to create this really cool look on the front of the card. And then when you open it up, I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see, you've got it stands up like this, but if I lay it flat, you can see more of the elements. So these are the Festive Fleurice, stamp set with matching framelits, and then uh, Greetings of the Season, and then a saying here. I'll have all the um, stamp sets and other products named at the end of this video and throughout the video. But let me just show you a couple of the components of this. The first thing I wanted to show you was the Pop and Cuts actual frame and this is it and then you've got things that you can pop in to make other elements this one is a label so what I do to start is I'm looking for the, the midpoint of the die which is here there's little lines here to guide you and there's also lines on the piece that you're going to insert this is magnetic and so is this so it'll stick and it won't move around this is the top of the die and I'm just going to put that in so that these marks match up and then I know I'm good to go the outside of the card is just plain, so in order to get it, you actually don't use this piece. You just take your half of your eight and a half by eleven. I cut it at four and a quarter, and I use this little um, tape. This is just washi tape, just to to show me visually where the edges of this die are, and then I just line it up with those, and then it fits inside the center frame. And when I run that through the big shot, I end up with a piece that looks like this. For the piece in the middle, I'm going to line this back up again. Same thing, I've got a piece of smoky slate here. Just going to line it up on the two ends of the washi in the middle. And when I run it through, this is what I end up with. It looks like this. So let me set that aside. So when I bring in my two pieces, you can see how they line up and form the basis of your card. For the center piece here, you just want to fold it on the score lines. So this piece is going to fold out like so and then it just folds. So that's how you get it to stand up. And this piece here is not scored and there's a reason for that. You can make all sorts of different things with this piece if you don't want to make a regular card. But we do in this case so I'm just going to line up the top and the bottom like so. And this would be easier with my bone folder but I don't have it so I'm just going to Make a crease, like so. And then you're going to go ahead and glue this piece to the base. When you glue it, I would suggest turning it over and putting the glue along the top, down the sides here and the bottom. Don't get any glue in the little slits and don't get any glue on the center part because you want it to be able to move. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to do this aluminum foil. The easiest thing I have found is to just cut a piece of aluminum foil larger than what you want the end piece to look like and you have to back it on cardstock. It's too flimsy to put through by itself. At least I found it to be. I use just a regular Stampin' Up! glue stick which are the best. They're so easy to use. They don't gum up. Go right into the corners. Cover this whole piece like so. This is a bit tricky because the paper wants to curl. Just start on the edge and then just brush it out to the sides, just like that. You don't have to worry about the crinkles because they'll disappear once you run it through the embossing folder. So once you've got that done, you bring in your embossing folder. It's really important to make sure that you're embossing the right side. So you always want to be able to see Sizzix and the Stampin' Up! emblem facing up. And that's the piece that's going to go down on the foil. And then you just run this through just like it was regular cardstock, like so. And when it comes out, it's going to look like this. So it's already done and then you can just cut it to size. These pieces here, all the little um, snowflakes, I've stamped those in the matching paper. This is Coastal Cabana paper. And this one here, I've actually embossed it using the pewter embossing powder. I found the silver was a little bit too metallic-y looking and bright. Uh, I wanted it to look dull, like just like the foil. 
And then of course this is one of the frosted finishes. This is um, a fabulous little embellishment you can use on Christmas cards, but I've used them on flowers and all sorts of things, so really love those. On the inside, just to give you a look, this piece here, which is actually going to be on top of this label, can be made using the deco dies here. There's four dies, and actually I believe it is this one that's going to work. Yes, so you're going to go and just cut this shape out of designer paper, and then it's just going to fit directly on top of that. Okay, and then I just used rhinestones to embellish. For the snowflakes, I wanted to show you a little trick. I went ahead and stamped these three snowflakes and they have matching framelits. Now this is the metallic platform. I must with these framelits. It's just so easy. You're going to put your clear plate down. Don't forget to do that. Put your stamped piece on top and then can you, can, I don't know if you can hear that, but I hope you can hear it, how it just grabbed that metal. So cool. This is this one. Check that out. And let's put this back into place. Then we've got this guy over here. Okay. Okay, and then you just place the clear plate on top and run that through. A lot easier to run them all through at the same time than individually. Here's another card I received um, on the Fiji cruise from Judy Lohan, Lohan. And what I really loved about this was the inside she's created a little fireplace. It's so, so cute. So she's used the same label, but she's just cut it out and used it as a pop-up card. So hopefully you can see that. Try it this way. Here's a card I made um, quite a while ago using the dress form insert. It works just the same as the label one, only it's a dress and so it pops up and it's got like a little uh, dresser here behind her. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you can go ahead and create this card yourself. So thank you so much for watching. You can order your supplies if you live in Canada from me and I will send it directly to your door. And all the supplies that I used on this card can be found in a list at the end of this video. Happy stamping. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw out